Hello and welcome back. Now we're going to do just a short video today on entering a beat four tuplet. I seem to hear a lot about this issue. Um, I think probably the biggest mistake that most people make is entering their notes and then switching to the tuplet tool on the main tool palette, uh, which really isn't necessary. Uh, whether you use simple or speedy entry, there's no need to switch out of your entry tool uh, to go to the tuplet tool on the main tool palette to create the tuplet. So first we're going to take a look here. I have an example. I just entered three quarter notes in. And we're going to use uh, simple entry real fast. So for simple entry, all you have to do is there's, there's really two ways. You can use the, the tuplet option which is actually on the bottom or the, the right side of the simple entry palette. You just enter in your Oh, go ahead and select that tuplet. You'll see that the cursor turns into a triplet with an eighth note. You just enter one beat and it automatically draws the triplet for you. So from there, you can just fill in your remaining notes. And there's your triplet on beat four. Now, let's say we didn't want to do that. Or we hadn't pressed on the tuplet tool and we already entered our eighth note. From here, what you can do is press down Alt, or the Option key on a Mac, and press the number 9. What you're going to notice is that opens up the Simple Entry Tuplet Definition window. Now this is a great window and a very easy way to enter in tuplets, because you have complete control. This is basically like a, a miniature version of the, the tuplet tool on the main tool palette. So from here, you can define your tuplet. This is correct. We want 3 eighths over 2 eighths. And then you also have the option for the simple entry tool of defining this as your default simple entry tuplet. And what that means is every time you enter in a triplet using the, the triplet tool on the simple entry palette, it'll come in as an eighth note to triplet. So we'll go ahead and select that for now. Just click OK. And it automatically draws the triplet in for us. At that point, all we have to do is we're already on eighth note fill in our remaining notes. There's your beat four tuplet. Now, let's say we want to do this in speedy entry. So in speedy entry, we're going to click into the window and into the measure to get our speedy en entry window on the measure. Delete that rest. We're going to hold down our control key, press three, so that we get the three in the upper right hand corner of the window. That means we're about to enter a triplet. The next three notes that we play will be a triplet. So I'm going to press a note on my MIDI keyboard, press the number four for an eighth note, and enter in my tuplet. Well, now once we click off the measure, it draws the, tip, the triplet. And that's the control three method. Now there are other ways of doing this. Um, you can overload the measure uh, which I think is what most people attempt to do the first time. Um, they'll just be going along and they'll they'll try to enter in um, their notes. And they'll get the message that says too many beats in this measure. So at that point you can just go ahead and select the default setting which is leave the measure alone. Click OK. That measure now, you can't really see it, but it contains um, an extra note. If we zoom in a little bit, you'll see that extra note kind of sitting right on the bar line. Uh, all you have to do at this point then is go to your tuplet tool, click on that, click on the first note of what's going to be the triplet. That'll bring up your tuplet definition window. It's already set up for 3 eighths over 2 eighths. Just click OK and we'll automatically draw those three notes. That's basically like the overloaded method. And in speedy entry, if you're a speedy entry user, that's kind of the method you're going to use if you want to enter in a large tuplet. And we'll talk a little bit about entering large tuplets now. So we're going to go to just clear the measures out real quick. Get rid of that triplet. So if we wanted to enter in, let's say, 
uh, a non-tuplet, a nine. In speed entry, that is the one that gets real tough because you can only define up to eight with your control option. There is no option to do a control nine because control nine obviously is a preset to move. So what you would have to do at this point is, yep, I know, is just enter in an eighth note. Then go up to your tuplet tool, define that as 9 in the space of 2, click OK, and it will automatically enter in the tuplet. However, unlike the simple entry method, it doesn't spell it out for you. So what you have to do now is click back into the measure and actually play in your tuplet. A little ugly at this point, but once you click off of the measure, Finale will redraw it. It just doesn't redraw the screen as you enter the notes. Now, that's the speedy entry method of overloading to get a large tuplet, a non-tuplet in this, in this case. So, let's take the, speed, the simple entry version, which is a lot easier to use, I think, in this case. So you switch to your simple entry tool, you, let's go ahead and enter in the eighth note and then with that eighth note entered press your alt or option nine bring up your simple entry tuplet define it as a nine a non tuplet click OK and voila it's spelled out for you so then from there you can just play in your notes and there's your non tuplet so this when you're when you're dealing with a larger size tuplet like a uh, septuplet, octuplet, non-tuplet, 11s, 12s, 13s, whatever, um, personally I, I would I would switch to the simple entry tool real quick to enter that in. And so we have there is a just a quick little overview on entering in the elusive beat four tuplet. Uh, thanks for reading and watching.